Hey, how you doing? I'm unable hey. to hear. What's up, girl? <laughs> Welcome to episode 13 of my podcast. The Pigeon Pod. <laughs> Stop it. The Pigeon Pod. Today is going to be, I, I think, the biggest podcast we've done with five people in it. <laughs> the biggest of the biggest. We're being trusted. This is the lot biggest of, one. We're being trusted. We're being Raph, me, Coco, a special guest, Jaden, um, He's really good at um, doing backflips. Fortnite. And um, oh. at uh, cardio. Coco's good at Fortnite. <laughs> backflips, not backflips. Fortnite. But, but, oh. <laughs> He's really good at backflips, guys. You gotta trust us. He's the best backflip <laughs> I've ever seen. Alright, so what do you guys want to do is, today for He puts Simone Biles to shame. Coco, you look so sad. <laughs> do that face again. I'm taking a oh. screenshot. I'm taking a screenshot. Uh, I'm like, like, let me take a screenshot. <laughs> oh, my eye. Okay, it, it got the higher quality. I got, I got, I got. I should probably not do that, maybe. <laughs> I don't want to. If it said, if it, if it said Cordell Shepard, oh my god, oh god, I just said his last name. I just said his last name. There's like seven of me, Alano. The, the, they're they're going to find me. Yeah, I mean, if any last year, what can I say? Whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways. I'm with the motherfucking squad. Listen, listen, we, let's go, let's go, go by, go by, go by, and, and wait, what's that word? What's like, it's like the, the, the fake names, I forgot what it's called. And then, uh, like it's, mine is, mine is aliases, Turtle, and, Lotus, and Fredo. I have all three, I don't know why. Alias, there you go, alias. alias. Mine's Carmelo, how about that? Yeah, Carmelo. Carmelo. We got Strato. Strato. And then we got Peeved Pigeon, and then we got Raccoon mm. Nuts. Raccoon. Raccoon, nuts, raccoon, 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 man, come beast. Hey, uh, 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 I gotta uh, go. God. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> we literally yeah. just... We're Alana. five minutes into this shit. How are you already leaving? Two minutes, actually. Hey. Don't you look at me like that. Alano, you should start off with our first topic today. <laughs> Alano, kiss the camera. Why are you getting close to the lips out the ear? What the fuck? Start first topic, Alano. <laughs> oh my god, Raph, Raph oh, is so, no, no wait, look, look, point of view, wait, 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 guys, 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 point of view, we're Raph's February 14th date, oh my god, oh god, oh yeah, oh, god. Yeah. Is that cheating? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh. R.I.P. Coco, oh. Oh. okay, okay. good night, good night, and point of view. are you seriously leaving a lot of, yeah, uh, He's going to your mama's house. Oh, Why? no. Oh, God, Coco. Oh, God, I'm screenshotting. Stop doing that, Coco. Thanks for the, thanks for the screenshot. So, it is our first... Yeah. Uh, it's our first... Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, everyone who's listening. And, yeah. I'm the only one here with a date. Uh, ha, ha, ha. If you guys are single, please like. If you guys aren't, then unsubscribe, <laughs> dislike, and then cancel me on Twitter, please. If you are alone on Valentine's Day and are spending it with us instead, <laughs> please leave a like, subscribe, you, and turn on the notification bell. And leave and get some talking about how lonely can you we, are. Can we, talk, can we talk about how... Can we talk about how... Mr. Lotus, Mr. Fredo up in the corner up there, has his whole nose in the camera, but he's the only one with 14 dates. He has 14 dates? Uh, it's called Magic, right? So I got, like, infinite... Sw- no, I'm not going to say that. I don't, no, I don't. February 14th. I got, like, infinite swag, right? And so, like, they don't deplete. And if it do deplete, it don't deplete. So, like, I just be... I've got a stick. I... I was gonna yeah. That's, Wait, what? What'd you say? I got one too. I'm gonna see a stick. I've got a stick, Raph. Okay, so what exactly? What exactly? What exactly is the topic for said podcast? Um. 
Well, whatever space. you guys come up with, we'll do topics. Basically, like the other. Should we, should we talk about how recently? No. Should we? Should we? Should Should we talk about how recently we've been getting into Fortnite oh, again? Oh yeah. Like just for shit. And then after that, can we talk about the boys' culture and how fucking Fortnite it is? February? <laughs> Fortnite February. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, we all got back in a Fortnite. Fortnite February. Okay. I'm starting it off right. So when was it? When was the first like the first like spark? Like the first time we played Fortnite, like six years. Well, because okay, you know, so, so I think it was like three weeks ago. I was on my Nintendo. Switch. Six years. <laughs> six years. I was on my Nintendo Switch, right? And then um, uh-huh. I decided to download Fortnite. I'm like, oh, I can download Fortnite for free, right? So I decided to do that. Here's my credit card information for anyone want, wanting that. Um, make sure to. Uh, Wait, put it back. No. <laughs> no. So yeah, I decided. I I'm not bring it back. Oh my god. What? Cool. And um, basically, I won the first game I played in like a year. I posted a picture of that on our Discord group chat. And then I guess I asked everyone, hey, can you guys play Fortnite with me? And that's kind of where it started because of me re downloading it. And then I downloaded it and I played it. It's, it's funny because originally, it's funny because originally, everyone else originally played. it was like, and then I invited and him and, and, and then he started them. playing again. And now we're all addicted. I've had dreams about. Oh, I'm back into playing professional I, Fortnite. I'm this not, is I'm, a cry I'm for not help. addicted. I only play it when okay, okay, you guys okay. play it. But you know what's really interesting? The fact that the game is still fun. But it's fun because we like, play it with each other. Like I thought, I thought I got like, like, it's, no it's, it's fun. It's it, I think I think it's I think it's fun in the sense that we play it because we don't play it like seriously. Like, we play it as like for shits and giggles Speak for, for jokes, you know, just like messing around. I play that shit for for heart, for for pride, for honor. I be playing that shit for life and death. I only play it just for fun. <laughs> That's the main goal. If that I don't get no, I, I, I'm not. I'm, my I'm saying from my hands, of course. <laughs> yeah. Let me get up. You know what's crazy though? I can't play for like I mean, and like, like you remember? Um, I think it was I think a few days ago. I think I think it was like the other day when we were playing. Raph, and like you said it to yourself, you were like, huh, we're over here like doing dumb shit and having fun while everyone is taking like this game seriously. Like, I think it was like in like that kind of sense. Is that what I mean? Like we, why are you bouncing on the bad Anthony? Yo, Anthony. <laughs> February 14th came early. When you see the pretty girl in the Zoom glass, whoa. Yeah, that's what happens. You start well, bouncing on the bed. No, I, I, I don't want to get Fortnite, but compilation in my recommended. I got, I got new pants. These pants look so swag. I have a weapon. These right here. That's they crazy. look so Coco. fucking sick. That's so crazy. I have an LED. I, I, um, have you guys noticed that my room is completely red? Yeah. Why is it looks like more like a purple haze to me, like a red purple haze. haze. Like, That's like, a good it, song. it looks more like a purple what? Like it, it, it's like it's like. Cause I hate you. It, it, um. And now I've been dang 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 Stop. Power up rewards card. Go ahead. <laughs> Give me your uh, credit card. Oh my god. It's so What's your phone number, Anthony? Anthony? I didn't know that. No. Anthony, it's so it's so funny, Anthony, because I didn't I went I didn't like I went on your channel yesterday and I didn't realize that like you had like recorded those Among Us games and posted them. And so like looking back and watching those games was hilarious. Dude. I was also like kinda cringing at like hearing myself. I feel um, sad. Like, it was kinda weird. Yeah, because um... I learned the unfortunate truth that when you hear yourself on the Why? internet. Or like you hear yourself in a funny YouTube video, you see it way more funnier than anyone else does. Really? Because I see it the opposite like, it's, way. It's yes. That's that's what I learned. Like I feel like I hear myself. When I see no literally when I when I saw myself, and then like when I know when I saw when I heard myself in Anthony's video, I was like, why do I sound like that? When I see myself, I'm like, oh, I'm 
when I hear myself and my I'm videos, not I know to other people, it, it might okay, be like good videos, but to me, it's like, I don't know. I don't like hearing myself. I'm playing. Have you heard me in the F Alano's, like, Fortnite? It's it's I sound like a squeaker. Is that Keanu? Oh my Jesus. god, you sound like a squeaker. Wait, literally, literally, when you said, literally, when you said, oh my god, Keanu, I was like, Coco, no. I was like, you need to stop. My voice gets high pitched like, when I'm happy. Also, also, because in Anthony's video, you just hear me continuously saying like so many times, "Who's lush ice? Who's lush ice? Who's lush ice? What's lush ice? Who's lush ice?" Like over and Who over again. Who's left ice? Oh, mama. It was. It was. Um. It was Maury. Um. Yeah. Maury's name she is was like. Playing with us and she. Nova that was her name. Something. No. No, but I'm saying when we were playing Among Us, her she heard her name said um left. Uh, ice. Yeah. Who's left ice? I'm left ice. I'm right ice. Guys, can someone buy me two K twenty one? Not left, left. No. Oh, I can't hear well. I have terrible ears and eyes. And so, how's how, wait how how is you guys' New Year going so far? Twenty twenty one. I had a Minecraft girlfriend. Seven years ago. Better than 2020. 20 ah, I succeeded at making relatable humor. <laughs> yes. Cool. Remember uh, to leave a thumbs up like, and subscribe. How's your guys' 2021 going so far? Going Kanye crazy. Kanye crazy. Going crazy. I think. Actually. I think for me, I think so far it's been. I, I yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say the same thing. I feel like it's been pretty good so far. No, just where like my relationships have been with like my friends. Oh, so far, that, it definitely started off way better than 2020. Yeah. I, and I think it's partly because we had time to cope with COVID. Yeah. So I think it's like we're, it's more like, out of, like <clears throat> human nature to like adapt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, also, you're spitting yeah. facts. I can't I feel like we just, we've, we've started to grow up. We've... Yeah, the past few months, you know, I've, been, I've just been really happy to like, talk to like a lot of you guys again and Boom. that's what really matters to me honestly mm -hmm. i've been i, I think that's I, I, my platonic relationships more i like pluto i agree i concur with that statement brother sister sister i think I think it's because now that we've had time to adapt <laughs> to like like covid and everything that 2020 slapped us with i think now we're really just focusing on like like who are, who our, our circle is and trying to like really like hold those close to us because you know we don't ever, we never know what could happen or like wh who we could lose. Yeah. So I think that's something that we've learned from twenty twenty. So we we I feel like we've at least for us I don't know about everyone but I feel like we've started to treasure our closer bonds more and like wanted to keep, and wanted to build upon those more, and that's keep that's kept us um fairly happy. Yeah. It distracts us from the crippling loneliness. Yes. That's weird. Actually. Yes. I don't, I, don't, I don't really feel lonely. <laughs> by my I feel like, um, I think it's normal at the point. I, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say, when you go into 10th grade, that's when you'll find out like who your real friends are. You'll notice your friend group gets smaller <laughs> and stuff. That's what I, I've noticed that since like, no. since 9th grade, I, I already started to notice that. Like, I noticed that my friend group got was bigger than I realized. Because you three and, um, or four, Lana, whatever, um, it's more of realizing these people that you're meeting aren't your friends, like close friends. They're your like acquaintances, like situational acquaintances. Like more, the majority of the time, you don't even want to like see them after, you know. To be honest. And I feel like the people you do see as, like, those friends in the freshman year, they always find somebody to just fuck up. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, I feel like every single person I've trusted, like, freshman year, has either completely cut me off or, like, has done something to make me cut them off. I, there's literally no like, one I knew from high school that I made actual close friends with. Also... Another thing, popularity just literally doesn't exist. Like, this concept of popularity Boobies. is, like, 90% mental. 
and like ten percent. Like I, it's just it's literally like no one's truly popular because no one actually gives them. You know what I mean? True. The popular kids are well known, not yeah. well liked. Like you can you can ask you can ask oh, Anthony. I considered my or like people considered me like a popular kid. You know? Well, you're like, popular in my. I don't know to what extent. I think. I think. I I think in the because I I don't know if I consider the rat like quote unquote popular. I just think he's very he's very he's a very likable person. He's very social, and he's like at, at least when he's in like a when he's in a social setting like at school or something, he's not very he's not like quiet. He's very like down to talk and meet new people. Yeah, I feel like now I'm a little more quiet than I was. Don't pull your pants down while you even looking. In the first two minutes. That's what is wrong movie. with you? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I I think, I think, I think what I think what I think um after freshman year you really start to realize like, like life, because like freshman year you're still kind of being held by the hand, by like family and like school because you just came out of middle school. But it's like I was going into tenth grade now. I have never wanted to quit school more than ever like and it's like not even just like the work being hard it's just like everything that's going on in the world on top of like, social settings on top of like school work it's just it, it was like it was something that really just it stresses you out beyond compare like i like during final week i was literally so stressed and it wasn't just because of finals it was like finals and then my mom was like pressing me and bugging me and like it was just all so much, it was a lot, and I just hated it. <laughs> I think I got off. I got off lucky. Me and Anthony, we really got off lucky. Literally, just didn't have like finals, midterms. We had none yes. of that. Yeah, we didn't have any of that. Ah, oh, too bad for. Uh, and like everyone's like, oh, the finals are right. so hard. Like, lucky. In our school. Well, I'm not entirely lucky. I made a video game for my midterm. Like, the SATs, like, that's what I consider, like, the hardest shit. And I took, like, several PSATs. That shit was so easy. I mean, the thing is, you know what I mean? uh, I'm taking college courses, so it's like, I still have to do midterms and finals for that. Which I guess has to make up for not having midterms or finals for high school. Good shit. Did you choose? I never asked you. Did you choose the college courses by choice? Um, you can I, choose to, and you can choose options. You know I mean, like, but yeah. knowing people around you, you're probably gonna get pressured into. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, More taking, likely than not, I'm like through your English. parents. I'm taking English and psychology. I'm gonna take psychology so bad. I cannot take English for shit. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Dude, is it a weird thing? I know it's college, like anyone of any age can go. But obviously it was my first time, so it's like, I was kind of shocked. Bema. There are people in my Espérate. class that are like 28 years old. Mami, estoy haciendo algo. Estoy haciendo algo. And I'm here sitting over here, a little wee toddler. Compared to these, these grown-ups. Look at Raph. School this year was... Oh my gosh, like, it was, um, it's like, I didn't, I don't hate it completely at all. It's, it's more in like the sense of like, it's just, especially like, it's just all, it's like, it's like at the base of like last year, like 2020 and like 2021. It's like the, the root of all the problems is obviously starts at COVID because that's like what really impacted everything that happened throughout the year. Like, us having to like go home and do like online school. Like when we started online school, my grades dropped. Same. Mine literally and, plummeted straight Like going back to school and having like Yeah, no, when my grade my grades plummeted. I don't even know what grades I finished with last year, but like with this year, I, I wanted to keep my grades good and I still do. Um so but I realized that because of COVID they were moving things like they were moving fast like they were they like i was taking like literally on when i started spanish this semester like spanish too and i had a quiz on the third day of class oh yeah i hate when that happens that sounds it, it, it's like it's like it's like it's it's they're just they're, they're moving so fast and it's, you know it's, i think it's just hard it's just really hard they should do some like type of compensation thing for after the pandemic for like people that got affected by it. 
like, you know, I don't know, I just feel like... Dude, we're not going to be able to get, like, relief over this for the next couple years, I think. It's literally going to be huge, traumatic, you know, nuke on us. That's basically what it is. I think I'm just lucky enough to maintain my grade. You know, and there's definitely a lot of people struggling because of the pandemic. And I don't know. I just feel like some teachers don't understand that, like, we are living in a pandemic. Like, a letter grade is important, but it is not as important as trying to survive in, a, like, an apocalypse. How do I say this? A lot of schools are very jumbled with it as well. Because... The entire choice between if you want to go full virtual or full physical comes down to would you prefer your mental health and being able to see your friends and being able to just talk to different people during the day or would you stay home and not risk your getting anything your way lower risk or whatever you know what I'm saying yes and it just doesn't especially for hybrid I was at hybrid for the start of the school year I could I dropped I, that not only were was just it felt very rushed everything felt rushed not necessarily in like what you were doing but how it was made like i don't want to go and bring like an entire backpack pack full of stuff with a mask on and walk down to the bus stop and do all that when I can just stay home, along with the fact that I'm not really that close to a lot of my friends in school. So I just stay here, you know? And even when I was in school, stuff like like mass breaks, which you just go outside for like 10 minutes and just sit there and chill out. They were very meh, especially because of the fact that most of my classes were uh, like on the second or third floor. So by the time you've already gone back up, you're kind of already out of breath, you know? Hmm. It felt very clustered. It felt weird. It felt dumb. I did not enjoy the hybrid experience, you know? So I was like, I just stayed at home way easier. And especially since you don't have to walk to class, you can just kind of click to the different tab. I never experienced um, hybrid. I feel like for me, I feel like for me, like the physical experience is what like what I need sort of because like, I don't know, I'm not someone who could just like be asked to do something like for example, or for school mainly, but I can't be asked to do like schoolwork at home and actually do it because I don't know, maybe this is not, you know what I mean? Like, I, it always oh, I understand like, that. blows past my mind. I just completely forget to do it. Or I just, like, don't want to do it. And so I think, like, the physical part is really carrying my grades. If for me, yeah, for Puts me, you. I chose to do physical school. My mom was my mom was really pushing me to do online school. And I chose to do physical, like, in-person school. Because judging off of how last year ended being online the whole time, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do well. I had no motivation to do work from home. I had no attention span to do her work from home. Like... I can't. I couldn't focus at home if there's so many distractions around me and so many things going on around me. Especially if I was going to be learning new classes, like picking up new topics. Like if I had to do algebra two and geometry from home for the first time, I would have died. I would have cried. Like I would not have been able to do it. Like to be honest, same. I think a lot of thing. Like another thing with it online. A lot of the teachers and the like teaching styles are just not adapted to like teaching kids at home. Like a caveman. For example, like I, because I am lucky enough to have a school that's like you can keep your cameras off, you can stay muted. Um, which the some of the teachers don't like. They prefer you talk to them because they're bored. They're kind of just sitting at this blank, very quiet screen for the majority of the time, but like. Oh, some people just have loud or different households. You can't just expect people to kind of. Yes, teacher. I'm here. 
here and present. Like, teacher, I am here and present. No, don't even no, have like. Still here. That too. I'll get to that in a sec. Like, I like I'm lucky enough to have my own room. For the majority, like I only got my own room in like starting high school. For the majority for all of middle school and elementary school, I never had my own room. Because of that, I didn't have my own privacy to kind of just be like, hello, I am studying. Yes. Here, I will do this thing. You know what I'm saying? And don't, yeah, I don't like the fact that there are teachers. I don't like the fact that there's like just school rules that it's mandatory. And two, I don't like the fact that there are teachers who try to enforce it because they obviously don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And two, snow days. Snow days don't fit from a logical standpoint, but from a you know, empathizing with the students' standpoint. Yeah. Let them have fun in the snow. Give them a break. It's the only normal thing we have. Let them relax for a day. You know? Yeah. Instead of just, huh. It's a snow day. Time to go back to school. Hi, hey, Ray. We're doing a podcast. Thing, I think it's like the the the, the, like the students that the, the student like the student body like all well, not student body but um that like the schools have decided to like almost like take advantage of the fact that we're doing online school now and used it to like kind of take away snow days. It's like because the, the way they look at it as they they look at it as okay if we don't do snow days and we do remote days then we have to make a blast days in the summer. Which is like, okay, yeah, true. But those snow days are also good for a lot of people because a lot of people have to go outside and shovel snow. A lot of people just, like, who wants to do, who wants to do work during a snow day? Especially if the snow is bad, your Wi-Fi might be going out in and out, like, stuff like that. It's just, I think because the only way they make it like a full-on snow day is if, like, there's power outages going out, like, like, power outages happening, which... Like, yeah, but like, no, it shouldn't have to get to that point for, the, for your students to just ask for a break. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's true. It's that that's because schools are made to make obedient little working class worker bees. Yeah, and it's like there's so many things that were twisted. Like before the pandemic, we couldn't talk to each other. Or we weren't allowed to, like, socialize or anything. We weren't allowed to be on the computer screen for eight to nine hours a day. And then now that the pandemic's here, oh, now we're required to talk and socialize because they don't have anyone to talk to. And we're being forced Yes, to that's something I'm upset with. And it's apparently okay fact, now to be in front like, of the screen eight to nine hours, as long as it's school. But anything else, no. Oh, like... The fact that silent lunches... Like, yo, you guys remember silent lunches? Like, in, in elementary and middle school, where they're like, you guys are being too loud. It was her only time yeah. to socialize. This is a perfectly normal time for you to socialize. You guys are being a little too loud for my liking. So you need to shut up. Now put your heads down. All right. I'm saying stuff like that. Seven up. And then yo, oh go my, from that to, true. hey, guys. Hey guys, can you can you guys turn on your cameras? Can you guys unmute your mics. No. I, I I haven't talked to someone in a long while. I, you know, I I'd like some class. It, I get so much secondhand embarrassment when like a teacher will be like, "Okay, does anyone know the the answer to to number two? I'll just get complete silence. <laughs> Nobody answers. It's to the point where like you feel so bad for like you didn't answer the question. Yeah, it's like like that was literally like me last semester. I was in geometry and nobody liked answering questions. So I would have to unmute my mic and I would be the only one answering questions whenever we were online for like a whole hour and a half straight. Yeah. And I have I have to. But it's real tough out here. Ever go like? I hate presenting. Did your teacher ever go like um anyone other than Jaden want to answer? And then it's just silent. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Literally. It's 
it's like acknowledge the fact oh, like, someone it was sad. paying attention. But it's like I have to present yeah. a Spanish project next week in front of like a bunch of seniors and stuff. And it's like I don't like presenting in front of people. I don't know, I just get Hola. very anxious. And I just don't like it. And the teachers think that the teachers just completely ignore what else is ever going outside outside of school. And it's like, oh, well, if I'm having a easy time right now, then all of you basically should have an easy time too, right? It's it's like they they don't think for other people. They don't. They're not like thoughtful. Like they don't compensate that other people might have. It's, yeah, I, I'm, I have I very talk. mixed oh. views when it comes to like um presentations. Are you are you pointing? Are you are you trying to point at me? Oh, you're good. Is because I'm I'm. Are you like pointing at my box? No. I'm pointing at Anthony's. Well, you're on this side for me, and Jaden's on this oh, cause, side. Because uh, like you're like dying. Anthony's on this side of me, and Jaden's like Anthony's, like Anthony's, Anthony's on my Anthony's on. Anthony's on my left. Coco's diagonal for me down here. Ray is underneath me. Jaden. Um, but yeah, I have I have, yeah, very, I have very yeah. mixed views when it comes to um. <laughs> I have very mixed views when it comes to presentations because it's like, whenever you're like, I don't want to share. I don't feel comfortable sharing. But they're like, oh, but it's part of your grade. Like the presentation is part of your grade. And it's like, but why though? And it's like. And then their excuse, then then like their reasoning is like, okay, but you're gonna have to like talk in front of people when you get like when in the real world, so this is good practice for it. And I'm like, I guess, like, but not really, no. Like, I don't know. I have very like I don't I don't know. I, like making people present things when they don't feel comfortable doing so. I don't know. It just doesn't feel very doesn't feel very nice to me. Thing Ray said in the chat because he's communicated by chat is he said basically people in the class can just clip anything you say and basically use it against you. And also, I uh, realized that I don't feel like snow days are ever gonna be a thing anymore. Even when we go back to like normal, it's because it's like a snow day. Just go on your computers, worker drone. Online online classes when it's a snow day, you know. I feel like it's just a thing that people um it's just gonna be forgotten something um that kind of upsets me like now like going back to like the presentation thing yeah like i used to deal with like very like heavy anxiety um right so like i hated doing presentations i didn't like like presenting in front of the class like it's like oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it sucks for you kid you gotta go up and uh, I just kind of sit there and kind of like shake. Like I still kind of like, yeah. You know, now like at least I can talk good. But like you know, now it's like, yeah, like, yeah it's just like the genuine disregard for like students' feelings mm -hmm. that upsets me. Yeah. Well, that was a lot. It's of not. <laughs> like, it's not even like some teachers. It's like systematically. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, let's get off the serious topic. Um, don't want this podcast being grim. It is Valentine's Day. But let, let's talk about something less serious. Uh, like the past, uh, well, basically in eighth grade, we all went... I forgot this was like a Valentine's Day stream. Sorry. I totally forgot. <laughs> so, um, basically, in eighth like... grade, we had this field trip, and it was to a escape room. And um, it was really it was a really fun experience because um, Coco and I were in the group was Alano and Raph and one other person. Oh, I don't think I want to. Alano say got pecked. <laughs> yes, but um, <laughs> we went on this one escape room called Platoon, and um, basically you had to do something. It was like army theme. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. And my dog is barking. But um. The platoon one confused me. Yeah, it's like an army themed um escape room where you had to do the jerry cans or something and there's like a little vent <laughs> in the corner of the wall. The Bodeborg's gonna sue us for, for sharing the secrets. Oh. 
Uh, that was that was where you had to crawl on the floor at one point, right? Yeah, I, I hated that. You were, um, really yeah, you had to, there was like a little, okay. Vent. There was like a tight hole. Woo! Clip day, that. Right? Anyway. <laughs> you you kind of had to go in and like it was like one of those like Chuck E. Cheese or um McDonald's escape like, kind of jump from ledge to leb things. And the thing is, me and, like, Raph are, like, I'm 6'1", Raph's taller. And, like, I'm, like, and I'm, like, yeah, no, I don't think this is going to hold. So, like, for the first few rounds of doing it, I didn't go. And, like, in the later rounds, I, like, went up. And, like, the first time, Raph was under me. So I was so terrified. I was either going to, like, kick Raph in the head or was just going to fall. Just like both die, we're both gone, you know. I and like that tunnel led to like, the next stage of the place. You, you can know, continue, Anthony. Uh, I wasn't necessarily like you know the big guy out of our group, but I was definitely like you know in the middle. But I definitely had that that same experience. It was like it's kind of hard. I had this. I had like I I think I like stretched out my muscle a few times just trying to jump on it. But Alano and the other unnamed person, we won't say. You know, at the time, they were both skinny, small. They could fit through anything, so it was easy for them. For the third, like goblins. For the three of us, it was kind of it was a really hard time. I, I think I I think I think stepped on Raph's face at least three times <laughs> by accident. <laughs> and then when we finally climbed up, your your goal was to, like, um, crawl through, what would they call it, like the mines or something? Like the, the trenches. It was like, a, it was like the trenches back in... Back in my day, people. Oh. But, um, the trenches, I just like right, and like the objective was to like crawl yeah. under, and you had to like stop when there was like shooting. Yeah, Anthony, our first attempt, uh, I stood up, I walked, I looked around, and um, I was asking, well, Why is everyone crawling? and then um, we lost. And if that was a real life situation, I would have died. You would have died. I mean, you know, why is everyone crawling? I would have died. I would have gotten sniped. Yeah. It took us a few attempts. We finally got past that room. The next room, we had to, like, be careful. There were, like, landmines. We had to be careful. We had to step around the landmines. And um, for some reason, we just really sucked Every out. time we kept trying to, like, defuse them, they kept blowing up. Time. Several times, yeah. like my comrade. Yeah, but that, that was a <laughs> Valentine's Day. Woo! Yeah, I like how the Valentine's Day podcast, but nothing we talked about was Valentine's related. We have nothing. That was so sad. So what's what's your view on Valentine's Day, guys? Guys, this is. I remember when Valentine's Day used to be about the candy. It was like a second Halloween for me. It was literally like a second Halloween. I remember the paper bags we had. We put the candy in the paper bags. That's what I looked forward to. And now, I think it's different. My perspective of Valentine's Day is when, like, you're in elementary school, they give you, like, the candy. I didn't like the majority of the candy. I, I still ate it anyways because it's candy, but it's kind of like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. And like... Just that. Kind of just... You, you, it's it, 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 it kind of... It's kind of pity. It, it's kind of coming from like, oh, oh, you didn't get a piece of candy? Here you go. <laughs> oh my god, I remember it was, and now it's like, oh, no. now Valentine's Day is completely different, now it's like, oh, I'm lonely, and there's no candy anymore. Whatever happened to the candy thing, as soon as that went away, I think that's what kind of transitioned into, like, legit Valentine's Day, like, oh, now I have to find someone to be in love with, but obviously that's not going to happen this year. That's something I, I think it's funny. Because there's, like, two takes on Valentine's Day where it's, like, gosh, I'm going to get my significant other something. Or it's, like, Err. 
I, I, I don't like Valentine's Day. I'm alone. And it's like, okay. But you kind of have to kind of just realize that you're, you have to, hard to explain in words. Because I've had Valentine's Day single, and I've had Valentine's Days in a relationship. Being with someone, this pro life tip, being with someone else doesn't make you any better. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you by yourself are already as good as you are. Is that what I'm trying to say? Like, don't, yeah, getting in a relationship with someone isn't going to make you better. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be cool. Like, yeah, there's some cool stuff. Like, you're not, it's not necessary. You can live your best life by yourself or with someone. It's your choice, you know? Mm -hmm. True. So I think a lot of people, well, I don't have any say in this, but a lot of people want to go in a relationship is what I heard. And, and then when they actually do, it's like it's way different than what they thought it was going to be. At least what I've heard. But it's different for some people, I guess. Some people like it. Some people think it's a little different. Ray said he's going to make raccoon girlfriend fan art for me. Either for me or of me. Both ones are very scary. Um, I'm not a furry. Let's have this on the record right here, right now. Okay? One, two. Um, talk about, let's talk about wacky, wacky stuff. It's like girls. You know? Girls. Girls are weird, you know? They, they don't like sports or video games. They don't. What do they do all day? Like, what? Yeah. What do they do all day? Do they just sit there? Uh, they, do they, uh, they just be doing their makeup. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. This is the worst thing. My makeup is right, like, spray paint a heart on my chest and run around public half naked. <laughs> can 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 I join? Can you have like half a heart sprayed onto yours, and I have half heart sprayed onto mine? And then we'll just be going to like a Home Depot. You'll we like stand up. like we kind of like hug each other, like take a picture. No, 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 no. Here's the thing, though. You'll stand on one side of the Home Depot. I'll stand on the other, and we'll just be screaming Marco Polo. <laughs> we'll, you, we'll ask the customers how <laughs> for help. Have you, have you seen the other person? And then we run towards each other. And then we just like, take a picture. <laughs> take a picture! And just like we keep turning to people, they don't pull out their phones. Start spinning. Stationary. Take a picture. That would be, be a funny video idea, honestly. Don't we right. take down? Yeah. <laughs> One time I learned about kissing a girl and like it was like kindergarten and pre K. Oh, there was this one girl in kindergarten, I think. Um, I feel I still feel years, bad about it. She was very obsessed with me. I can say her name because it's like it's been years ago. I don't know the person anymore and they probably don't know me anymore. There's someone named Riley and um I remember every day she chased me in recess and she'd call me her boyfriend even though like I had no association with her at all. <laughs> And I was terrified by that. I guess because I was like, what, like six or five. Like I wasn't looking. It's because girls are gross. Exactly. Have cooties. Oh, I remember some cooties were a thing. Jeez, they still are. Very bad. They still are. It's a, it's a very important topic, man. Yeah, we need to really address oh. cooties. Why didn't we have face masks and social distancing for cooties, bro? Exactly. <laughs> oh. Mm. The one smart thing to say and the one dumb thing to say per day quota has been reached. <laughs> yep. Oh. Ray says, I remember back in second grade that I was still a prepubescent baby. A girl threw a dodgeball at my balls and I didn't feel it but acted like it hurt for some reason. Um, for you at home, that's what Ray sounds like. You gotta show her you're a boy, <laughs> not a woman. Right? Okay. Hey. 
Yeah. Ray was like, ah. Y'all remember in eighth grade, every time we played dodgeball, I get hit in the balls every single time someone threw a ball. I could be turned around. The ball. The ball would like hover over me and like. It's like, the, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like it was, it's like I was born with some magnetic down there. Like, you know, the balls were attracted to it, I guess. It attract dodgeballs like I attract women. Yeah. <laughs> they all come to me. Fishing, you know, that one sport where wife is in sight. Yeah. Oh, I love fishing. <laughs> no wife. Kids, just yeah. me out in the open water. Yeah. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. I, I should show. Oh my god! I put a kind of bass. Yeah. Uh, did I tell you, one pelican that that stole my sandwich? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh. Wait till I tell her. I ate, ate my sandwich and then I turned it and I cooked it and then I ate the sandwich made out of it. I think it was illegal. I did an illegal. Please do not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um, obviously, we're recording this on a school night. And um, speaking of online school, <laughs> I have to go. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. Stop it, Jaden. The only time you say something is when I'm suffering. But yes, um, sadly, we had to end the podcast. It was sh a short episode, today. <laughs> but not as short as um, I think episode eleven, which was really short. But um, yeah, I hope I, I we will definitely record a podcast during the weekend next time. I think that'd be a better idea. But yeah, that was it. If you guys are out there, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day will be way better. You know, just, just, it's just, oh man, don't get me started on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, the, what oh boy, I love the Irish. I love the oh, color yeah. green. Me too. Green, green orange, orange, and green. orange and yellow. Green. St. Patrick's Day. I meant white. <laughs> oh, <laughs> white. Guess I won't need any short. Those are also the colors of the Indian flag. Yes, precisely. Yes, if Valentine's Day. I I'm in love with Ireland. <laughs>